Today on Ridge Roamer, Project America Indian Scout Bobber gets a full lighting package from Custom Dynamics and will install a new seat. Custom Dynamics, like every other supplier for this build, is an American-based company with manufacturing in the United States. So today we'll be using the Custom Dynamics ProBeam LED headlight as well as the ProBeam Dynamic Rings front turn signals and the ProBeam rear signals. So these are brake and tail exactly like the um, factory ones, but these have the added feature of white running lights while the turn signal isn't being used. Uh, Custom Dynamics is based out of North Carolina. They ha have been in business over 20 years and they have sponsored today's video by providing the products that we need to complete this to have an absolutely beautiful lighting package that's going to not only allow us to see better than with stock lighting, but allow other people on the road, other drivers to be able to see us better. Custom Dynamics products come with a lifetime warranty against LEDs going out, so you never have to worry about replacing bulbs or even replacing their units if LEDs were to fail. They have excellent customer service, they are a small company uh, and privately owned, amazing company to do business with, can't recommend them anymore. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead get the installation complete. Installation of the Custom Dynamics products are extremely simple. This is something you should not be intimidated about doing yourself. Very, very easy. They include everything you need. It's all plug and play. We are going to start with the front turn signals. So, essentially all you're going to do is use the existing clamps for the forks. You're going to remove the stock turn signal by using this five millimeter Allen wrench. In its place, you'll install the custom dynamics literally bolts right back up exactly the way you just removed the stock one. Then the wiring harness has the same connector as the stock one so it plugs right back in and then with the added feature of the white running lights, you're going to use the connector that plugs right into another harness that's already on your bike. So let's go ahead and get that done. So exactly the same way that the stock turn signals came off, you'll be remounting that. I'll reuse the same bolts. I'm going to run my wires around the back. I'll plug in to the wiring harness that says left, that clips right in, then we're going to run this extra wire into the headlight bucket and then inside here we're going to grab the black wire harness and I'm going to plug in this spade connector And then make sure that the watertight coupler there, or water resistant at least, goes over and that's it. And we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side and we'll test them, get everything mounted and secured. Now on the right side, same process. Connect the factory harness. Just 
going to piggyback the spade connector on the signal from the other side. And I will verify operation and then get all the bolts securing it down. got white, we've got our amber turn, got our other amber turn, and back to white. Operating perfectly, literally a two minute installation. Not only do these add the extra white forward lighting to help other vehicles see you, but they look better. They're smoked lens instead of the Amber lens from the factory helps a lot with my black and white, mostly blacked out theme of the bike. Let's go ahead and get that headlight installed and keep moving. Headlight installation is almost as easy. We'll go ahead and get this out of the box here. And wiring on this one is going to be plug and play, except for you do need to put a terminal on this one wire. So we need to put a spade connector on. Uh, that's what the Indian Scouts use to plug into their wiring. This headlight is able to be used on multiple uh, models of bikes, so that's why they don't put an end on it. But we'll go ahead and crimp on this spade connector now with that spade connector installed that's everything we need and it is plug and play from here headlight ring is a orientation does matter so make sure that you're putting it back in in the correct orientation pay attention to, to what you did there and then we'll just start dropping these rings in Make sure we're centered, make sure the orientation is correct, clean it off, Our rubber ring on the back, which is what seals between the headlight nacelle and the headlight assembly. Now we'll go ahead and get it installed. And we're just going to Connect our wiring harnesses. And the red wire is going to plug into the, your brown. We'll have to wrap that because it is a little exposed. And now we can check. High beam, low beam, and the running light. Perfect. All right, everything's resecured. Before I put the headlight nacelle on, we're just going to do one final double check to make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to. Headlight on, high beam, low beam.
turn signals perfect now I'll go ahead put that back on and we'll move to the rear just like the front the rear signals from custom dynamics are plug and play we'll go ahead and pull those out however unlike the front unlike the front these do have different connectors so make sure when you are taking off the struts you pay attention to which side you're working on and just replace it with the one with the correct connector easy enough just one more thing to pay attention to we'll remove the wire clip and turn signal mount in here with a five millimeter Slide that out of the clip, slide that out there, and feed it out the hole. Now this is the one with the gray connector, so we'll set it aside. Open up the custom dynamics light with the gray connector and feed it back through exactly the same spot. Through the clip. Around. Get it lined up. There is a locating pin in here, so it helps you get it in just the right spot. Get that mounting bolt and wire clip. Just make sure you give it a little bit of slack in here so that you're not pulling on the wiring that's it for this side we'll get it reinstalled on the bike go ahead and do the same thing on the left Now as we go to reinstall the rear rails and turn signals, uh, this is a good time to go ahead and let you in on which seat I'm using. So for this build, I am using a Corbin Brave seat uh, built with the white stitching and, and black like all of the products I'm again that I'm using on this build made in the USA Corbin is based out of Hollister California and does all of their manufacturing there as well so we'll go ahead and slide this on give us some context here or, or get this in while we have all of this removed and then we're gonna go ahead and install these rails plug them in and make sure everything works the way it's supposed to. We are not done back here as far as the build is concerned, but we are reassembled enough that we can test these tail lights and turn signals. Beautiful. Awesome. These tail lights, just like everything that Custom Dynamics makes, is absolutely beautiful. I love the contour, I love the round light, I like the shape inside. The lenses are crystal clear, nice and bright. 
excellent. Couldn't be happier. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Ridge Roamer. I appreciate you watching. I would appreciate it even more if you hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see the continuation and completion of this build. Thank you again to Custom Dynamics for sponsoring this build, for manufacturing and providing such an incredible product. Um, very happy with the way this turned out. Hope you all have a great day. Ride safe.